Drop anchor. Neo Thomas, get up on that hill and see if you can spot the cave that Phil Octides is supposed to be living in. Judging by the smoke we saw earlier, he should be close. I uh, think I see the cave. Can you see inside? It looks empty, but I'm not sure. We abandoned him here years ago. His foot was running with a gnawing disease thick with pus. It stank, too. He never stopped moaning and bellowing while we camped here. Was it that painful? He was not playing it up. I should get away from the boat. If he even finds out I'm here, the plan is already a failure. If Philoctetes is still alive, he won't be far from the cave. He'll go out to gather plants for food. You'll have to gain the trust of Philoctetes. Meet him, and don't disguise who you are. Tell him honestly that you're Neoptolemus, the son of Achilles. But then tell him this story. You went to help the Greeks in the war, but they refused to give you your father's weapons, which you had a right to. The Greeks instead gave the weapons to me, Odysseus. Go ahead and insult me viciously. Really lather him up. He hates me. The trick is to get his guard down so you can steal his bow and arrow. And make sure he never suspects I'm on the island. If he finds out and he still has his bow and arrow, he'll probably kill us both before we can escape. I don't want to trick him. It's not my way, and from what I hear, it wasn't my father's way. Philoctetes only has one good foot. Why can't we take him by force? I've come to understand that speech ends up being more important than force. You can't take him by force anyway. His arrows don't miss the mark. I could try to persuade him honestly. He won't listen if you tell him the real situation. We cannot lose this opportunity. If we get his bow and arrow, we'll capture Troy. If we fail to get his bow and arrow, we'll lose the war. If you trick him like I'm telling you, you'll be celebrated as clever and noble. I don't think cleverness is a virtue. We're running out of time. Stay here and wait for him to come. I'll hide. Who are you? Don't be afraid of me. Your equipment is Greek. I am Greek, yes. My own language. It's very welcome to hear that. Were you shipwrecked here? No, my ship is intact. I'm the son of Achilles, the Eptolemus. Your father was a comrade of mine. But why are you here? Where are you coming from? I left Troy and I'm sailing back home. You weren't at Troy when I was there. You were at Troy? You don't know who I am? No, I've never seen you before. You've never heard any rumor about me? About how I was left on this island? No, I haven't. I must be cursed by the gods more grimly than I had thought. Not a word of my condition has reached Greece, it sounds like. The men who abandoned me keep their secret, while my plague gets worse and worse. Well, here I am, my son. My name is Philoctetes. Maybe you heard that I was Lord of Heracles' bow? I was left here to die after getting the plague you see on my foot, bitten by a snake. Those men dumped me here. They left me while I was asleep, leaving me a few rags and some food like I was a beggar. Even now I can remember the feeling of waking up and realizing they were gone. Since I've been alone, I've survived by shooting birds with my arrows. I can make a fire, dragging my foot from place to place, with little relief from the pain. I have everything I want, in a way, except relief from my disease. Once in a while, sailors land on this island. They pity me, but they won't take me home on their ship. This is what the Greeks have done to me. What Odysseus did to me. I already know the wickedness of the Greeks and Odysseus. What do you mean? It's an account I don't like to tell. After my father died. Achilles is dead? Yes. I heard the arrow of Phoebus killed him. That was a worthy death for Achilles, then. But what were you going to tell me? I set sail for Troy. I arrived and saw my father ready for burial. I went to the Greeks and claimed his weapons, which were mine by right. I was told that Odysseus had already claimed them. I asked how the Greeks dared giving the weapons to anyone before me. Then Odysseus himself stepped up and said, They're mine by right, since I saved the weapons and their master in a moment of crisis. And he said that I was absent from Troy when the Greeks needed me. I sailed home. I hate Odysseus. And even more than him, the leaders of the Greeks, the corruption starts at the top. 
Your grief is in harmony with mine. I recognize the treachery of the Greeks and especially Odysseus. But I'm surprised that Ajax went along with this. Is he still alive? No. This is difficult to hear. What about Nestor? He's alive, but his son Antilochus is dead. Nestor is no longer involved in politics. Patroclus is also dead. Is Thersites alive, that man of little words but clever? I never saw him, but I heard he's alive. The gods take a strange joy in rejecting the criminal and crooked from death while pulling in the just and good. What am I supposed to think about this? How can I praise the gods when I find that the gods are evil? In any case, I will never be a friend to the Greeks again. Farewell, Philoctetes. I'm going back to my ship. May the gods free you of your disease. You're setting out already, son? Yes, since there's a fair wind. I solemnly ask you by your father and mother not to leave me here. There you're disgusted with my affliction and you'll win high honor by taking me as a passenger. You could put me in the hold if you want, wherever. It would shame me if I said no. Let's board and sail on. I pray for safe passage. I pray I can show you what a true friend you've made in me today. Do you need anything from your dwelling that I won't have on my ship? Just the herb that soothes my foot, and my arrows. Is that the famous bow you're holding? That's right. Could I take a look at it? To revere it? To you alone, son, I will grant this. I only wish it if it's lawful. Your words are reverent and your wish is lawful. For the first time in ten years you've given me hope of seeing my aged father before I die. You'd lifted me beyond the power of my enemies. It was by a good deed myself that I won this bow. Handle it for a while. You can boast that in return for your goodness, you alone of mortals have touched it besides myself. I'm glad that I found you and gained your friendship. Let's go into the cave and I'll get my belongings. Are you all right? N nothing. Uh, nothing serious. It's your foot? No worse than usual. You've got a heavy burden. Don't be too leery of me. The pain comes and goes. Should I help you lie down? No, it's all right. But take this bow and keep it safe. Keep it on you. I'll be tired after the pain goes away and I may rest for a while. Humble yourself before the gods that the bow may not become a curse for you too. Don't leave me alone. I won't. I have the bow now. I could go back to our ship. You have a noble soul, I think. I don't know about that. Help me on my feet. Thank you, son. I'm not sure what to do now. Having second thoughts about taking me on board? No. I haven't been honest. What do you mean? You'll have to sail back to Troy. What are you saying? There's a harsh necessity here. Give me back the bow. No. Because of my duty and my interest, I will obey those in power. I suspect you've learned wicked behavior from wicked masters. You don't have to corrupt yourself. Maybe I do. Nia Thomas, what are you doing? Thinking of betraying your comrades? Who is that? Odysseus? Ah, this is horrible. Give me back my bow, son. Give it up. He couldn't do that even if he wanted to. And you'll come along with us. You don't want to hear this, Philoctetes, but you're destined to be a peer of the best. Destined to defeat Troy! You left me here to die, and now you want me back. My bad luck that I'm a useful tool for you. And you've corrupted this youngster in the process. If you died a cruel death, I would believe I had escaped my plague. This occasion calls for someone like me. I want victory, but not so much that I'll force you to do something you don't want to do. Go ahead and stay here. We have the bow, and we have archers as good as you, including myself. Maybe this bow will bring me the honor that should have been yours after we return to Troy. Neoptolemus, son of Achilles, will you leave too? Leave me desolate? Don't let him manipulate you. Philoctetes. 
Please stay here until the sailors have readied everything and we've made our prayers to the gods. Mull over the situation. Remember that you have the power to escape this plague. I'll go outside with Odysseus. You did well, Neoptolemus. You'll be highly honored among the Greeks. I don't know about this. It was necessary. Excuse me. What are you doing? You're not going back to the cave. I'm correcting the mistake I made when I obeyed you in the army. You're not going to give him back his bow. I am. All the Greeks will stop you, beginning with me. Go ahead, then. Your words are not wise. If they're just, they're better than wise. That's naivete speaking. Do you see my hand on my hilt? Do you see my hand on my hilt? The army will punish you for this. If you're wise like that from now on, not challenging me, you might stay out of trouble. Philoctetes, come out! What more do you want from me? Will you stay here or sail with us? I'll stay here. You're resolved of that? You won't gain my mind's goodwill another time since you deceitfully robbed me of my means of living and the prize for my honor. You're the hateful son of a noble father. Please come out and take back your bow. Are you tricking me once again? No. Here I am. Do what you're going to do. Take the bow. Now that I'm holding it again, I wonder at your character. What kind of person are you? I forbid it with the gods as my witnesses by the Greeks in the army. I will carry you to Troy whether or not the son of Achilles is willing. Not if this arrow flies straight. No, don't shoot him. Let me go in the name of the gods. Now that Odysseus has fled, I'll let you go. Why did you stop me from killing my hated enemy? His killing would have brought no honor to me, nor you. The army's chiefs are cowards in the fight. You saw for yourself. You've shown that you're really your father's son. I delight in your praise of my father and myself. But hear what I want from you. We're all under the fortunes handed down by the gods. You cling to your miseries. You won't listen to anyone. But let me say my piece, just in case you'll listen this time. You suffer this plague's affliction from God-sent fate because you went near Chrysi's guardian, the snake that bit you. You will never get rid of this affliction until you choose, by your free will, to go back to Troy. We have a Trojan prisoner, an oracle. He tells us that you will return and that Troy will fall this summer. Now that you've heard the situation, please give way graciously. How can I go back to Troy? But how can I not do it? How can I consort with the Greeks and Odysseus? Putting aside my resentment born from the past, I fear trouble in the future. And you should not go back to Troy yourself, Neoptolemus. That's reasonable advice, but I ask you to put trust in me and the gods. I've had enough trouble in my life. Take me home as you promised. Well, if you wish it, I won't break my oath. Ah, <sighs> noble words. Lean your steps firmly on mine. As much as I can. How can I escape blame from the Greeks? Don't think about that. What if they attack my country? I'll defend your country with the arrows of Heracles. Then say farewell to this island and leave with me. Not yet. Not until you've heard my commands, Philoctetes. Know that this is Heracles. I remind you of my own fortunes. By many toils, I achieved going beyond death, as you see. Through your own toils, your fame will spread far. You will go to Troy and be cured of your plague. Then you will kill Paris, the origin of these troubles, with my bow and sack Troy. You will carry spoils home to your native Oeta, to your father, Poeas. This fate also goes for you, Neoptolemus. The two of you are joined in this endeavor and must guard each other's life. Be mindful that when you plunder Troy, you revere the gods. Piety exists after death. Father Zeus holds everything else of less account. Ah, friend whose voice I have longed to hear, whose form I see at last, I will obey your commands. So will I. 
Then don't delay. There's a fair wind. Let us go, and I will hail this land as I leave it, heading to a destination appointed by fate and the will of my friends, and the all-taming God who has caused these events. Let's get to the ship. Pray for safe travels, and then be on our way.